I'll be pissed, but I gotta go face him. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. And don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. Vulcan. I found some of the supplies you need to improve the guard's equipment. Excellent. I have everything I need. I'll finally be able to make some decent equipment. I'll tell the guard leader. He'll be glad to hear that. Let me see what you've made this time. Is it true you killed the beast? 
Is it true you quit the booze? What? Ah, uh, that's a load of bollocks. I thought so, but I did kill the beast. Right. Okay, then. You and me, we got off on the wrong foot. We owe you one. That's a man's job you done. I found your soldiers' bodies. Ah, <sighs> they were my best. I mean, it's sad. So, did you bring back their weapons? I know it's not pretty, but we need them bad. Yeah, I brought you back their stuff. I just hope it helps the survivors. Oh, I suppose it's better than nothing. I know I said I wasn't gonna pay you, but those lads won't be collecting their pay, so... Here, you have it. About those sentry guards... A barfly like you probably knows a lot about the people here, I'm guessing, huh? Flattery will get you everywhere. I'm going. Tell your boys to go see the blacksmith. They'll repair their armor and weapons now. Finally, some good news. Great job. That fucking assail has been refusing to help me if I won't go scouring for his raw materials all over the swamp, as if I was his slave. You're the nerve of some people, right? Take this for your trouble. I'm going. I'd rather stay here, if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. Well, it's true that I prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine, you can stay here. But if you do get it in your head to run away, I will find you. You won't like it when I do. I'm trembling, but yes, I'll wait here. Did you find this famous beast? Found it and killed it. But don't hold your breath waiting for its fur for next winter, because I didn't bring it back for you. Excellent news. I knew the village could count on you. Actually, not so excellent. Aelus is dead. Dead? But no, that's not possible. Uh, are you sure? When it doesn't move and it doesn't breathe and it looks at you with an even stupider gaze than one of your guards, that generally means it's dead, yeah. I demand that you show some respect. The Red Scribes are a precious help to us here. Aeolus was a useful man, a, a good man, and he was under your care. Oh, please. Your good man had a few skeletons in his closet. He was controlling the swamp bees to keep people away. He had you all fooled. Aelus was even ready to kill his own daughter to cover up his secrets. What nonsense is this? How can you make such ridiculous accusations? Am I to understand he died at your hands? He turned up all alone at the place where I fought the beast. No guide, no escort. He knew the way. And after coming after Sybil, he tried to kill his captive to shut her up. There was a fight, and he didn't survive. What madness. 
What do you know of this prisoner? If Aeolus held her captive, she must have been dangerous. I don't know much. Edwin isn't exactly the talkative type. Well then, you must find out immediately. As of now, she is your responsibility. I should deliver her to the Red Scribes without any further ado, yet, after what you have told me, I no longer know what to think. She will be given a fair hearing. Until that time, she never leaves your presence. If there is the least incident, I promise you, you shall answer for it. And there is no prison here, in case you had not noticed. Okay. Sounds fair to me. <sighs> However low your opinion was of Aeolus, his death is a great loss for Valvanor. He was meant to be looking into a most disturbing matter. All right, I can see where this is headed. What do you want? There is no guarantee that you have the necessary skills to handle this matter, Freeborn Blade. Even Mirana is flummoxed. What is it? An epidemic? That's exactly what I'd like to know. Several of the villagers have been behaving curiously of late. They have become distant, taciturn, and barely react to the world around them. They're just hungover. You'd know if you got drunk more often, and you look like you need to. I believe there are a few here who know the difference. It's something else. They seem very concentrated, as though they are observing us. I feared some kind of sickness and that it will spread throughout the village. Got it. I'll slap them around a little. That should wake them up. My goodness. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but I must confess the results interest me more than the methods. Well, that's gonna be my method, so let's leave it at that if you don't mind. I'm not helping you because you made puppy eyes at the captain. Sorry about your dad. She took me by surprise. I didn't have time to protect him. Even though I wish you could have saved him, it's not your fault. It's that witch. Yeah, but it's understandable that she'd be mad at your father. Whatever he did to her, he didn't deserve to die like that. She's a murderer, a monster. A monster that maybe just saved your life. Perhaps. But why did my father have her imprisoned? Did he know she would try to kill him? He had us to protect him. And if he hadn't shown up in the middle of the swamp, he'd still be alive. It just doesn't...